Hello, this is Wes Gill from StorageCraft. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to configure a ShadowProtect SPX backup using ConnectWise Automate. Inside Control Center, select a computer that has SPX installed, then click the plugin icon, and then the StorageCraft tile. Click on Destinations, and then New. Our first step is to define a destination for backup files. SPX is a full image backup product that requires a different local volume to hold the backups, such as an add-on internal or external drive, or more commonly, some network attached storage. For local storage, just enter a name of your choice and then the path. For example, for the name, you could say backups. And for the path, f colon backslash SPX backups. In this example, I'll set the destination to be a folder on our StorageCraft OneBlocks scale out storage system. Give the destination some name of your choosing. The destination path is the UNC path to the network storage, including a share name and any subfolders. You will need to create this share and directory on your storage system first. Domain or computer or NAS is the portion of the username before the backslash, so instead of setting the username value to be domain backslash username, you put the domain name in this separate field. You can see the result under qualified name. If your network attached storage doesn't require domain name, just put none in this field. Set the username and password, check verify access, and press OK when finished. It takes a few minutes for the remote agent to receive the command, create the destination, and then report back the successful creation. You can speed up this time by clicking on the gear icon and adjusting the remote thread check time. After pressing the refresh button, we can see the destination was created successfully. Now let's create a backup job. Click on Backup Jobs and then New. Enter a name for the job, select the destination, and choose the volumes you want to backup, and set a password for the backup. Make sure to record it in whatever password system you use. Click on Schedule, choose the schedule type. I recommend Continuous since we're planning to replicate this backup to Storage Craft Cloud. It's 7 p.m. on Friday, so I'll start the job immediately. If it was during the day, I would schedule to start later. I'll set incremental backups to occur every day between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. and run every hour. With the basic option set, press Save. Refresh in a few minutes and you will see the backup job status is running if you told it to start immediately. Since this is the first backup, known as the base backup, all data used on the volume needs to be backed up. This system has about 160 gigabytes in use, so the first backup will take an hour or so. Let's have a look at a different machine that's been running backups for a while. This machine has a job that does daily backups of three volumes, and we can see the status and history of all incremental backups on the Backup History tab. This concludes the tutorial on how to configure a ShadowProtect SPX backup using ConnectWise Automate.